Melissa Barrera, actress of Scream 7, was just terminated over comments on the situation in Israel, accusing the IDF of perpetrating genocide. Now look, I was very surprised it was over comments against Israel that got her fired. Hollywood, after all, is a liberal monarchy. But that doesn't matter when we're talking about the right to expression from our fellow filmmakers. No, this isn't a violation from the First Amendment. It's a consensual agreement. Christopher London has a right to choose who gets to be in his work. What I'm criticizing are the principles at hand. Make no mistake, this is a problem those who strive for greatness should not have to deal with. If anything like this was tried for an ordinary citizen, their immediate circle would cry and riot, claiming corporate oppression in an instant. This is something that I found buried after searching up Israel. You won't find it from film, you won't find it from actor, you won't find it from cancel culture, the last of which this makes a fantastic example. Some claim it doesn't exist, this is the newest proof that it does. I have to ask, where was the strike when stuff like this was happening? Oh yeah, it's over. They're already satisfied with higher wages. Because fame and the opportunity to work in film wasn't enough, they demanded it even at the cost of title production, and only for themselves, not editors, not producers. This is the great problem with the way we run the industry. We're so coddled and only care about what's most convenient. We've had enough abiding by this consensual agreement to have our faces up for the world to recognize. Let's disappoint our audiences as we ask for more. An actress for our last two movies said something that we agree with but can't say for PR reasons? Off with her head. In case you haven't noticed, what both these notions have in common is cowardice. This is only a revelation of what was capable for a while. The establishment showed its ugly head in 2020 when the riots broke out, and one of my biggest regrets would be not speaking out against the Reckless Division. This is the worst they've gotten since then, and I won't shy away like last time. This is a warning sign, and I won't let it run into obscurity. It's about time we start enacting a change in film entirely. Like I said, directors have the right. I'm probably as pro-director as you can possibly get. But why don't we at least shift our culture so they're using their power to break grounds in the medium, not kick out their stars at the drop of a pin?